Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. I have, I had an idea for a new collage base and I wanted to share that with you. Couple shares and then we'll get busy and use up some scraps. How's that? Um, let's say hi and hugs to Darla, Carol, Jackie, and Tammy. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so this was kind of fun. I needed some thin uh, journal cards, uh, journal cards and um, tags and things like that for the project that I'm doing over on Patreon, which is my um, altered book that is Shirley Temple themed. So um, these are kind of the colors that I'm working with. I have all those digitals over here should I need a little extra. But um, this is that one. And then, of course, I made one for fall as well, which is a little bit different. I'll show you that in a minute. But what I wanted to tell you that I used for the base was um, this masking painter's masking paper and you can get this at um your hardware store i got these at home depot and look how big they are it was like i think it was just over three dollars maybe close to four dollars for this whole roll and as you can see they come in different colors too so that's what i use for the base because it's super thin. I hope you can see that on camera. So I'm going to set those aside. But I wanted to show you. So this one I did on the brown paper. And I and it worked great. I can just use that as um, use that as my tags and journal card. We'll cut these up so that I can show you what I have in mind. So I did that one that way. I just used that as the back. So really it's got two layers. It's got the collage and it's got the backing, right? This one um, is for fall journals and I don't need to worry about thickness with them. So I did this one on the base of the painter's masking paper and then I did back it with some scraps of coffee dyed paper and such a little bit of straw paper so for writing so that's the other way you could do it and it's still really fairly thin but yet as you can see it's it's pretty it's pretty sturdy whereas this one is a lot more floppy and then this is the way i i normally do my collages i just did uh this on a book page as a base but I will tell you, I wish you could feel, but it's this is a lot thinner than this. So the book page really does add bulk, which normally isn't a problem. But like I say, in an altered book, I want the ephemera to be as thin as possible. So let's see. So I wanted to show you those. We'll get to that in just a second. But I also wanted to show you I organized my scraps. Oh, it feels so good to have it all organized. So I have four trays here. And what I do is the top two trays are pattern paper. The bottom two trays are, you know, coffee dyed or blanker pages, you know, like the first page of a book, those sorts of things that work well for the backing so they can be written on. And then, so I have one, two, right? I have the small scraps in the top, bigger scraps in the bottom uh, of each. And then within the tray, these are all my colored, all my colored or patterned things. I got my doilies sorted out here. And then this side is, um, is text, is book page and such. So, you know, it won't stay like this for long, but it sure feels good right now. <laughs> and then, and then this is, this is all bigger pieces. Um, 
and they're, you know, they're just, they're just bigger. That's all. So that's the difference there. And then let's do, let's look at this one. Let's see, I have them backwards at the moment. But this is the bigger pieces for backing. This is the smaller pieces so that, you know, you can make more of a collage looking thing. So I'm all organized. Isn't that fun? Oh, I was quite tickled with myself. Okay. Well, let's cut these up. We'll do that, and then we will, um, and then we will do some collage on one. Okay. So first thing is when I flipped that over, I noticed I missed a spot right there. So let's be putting something there. I think I have some itty bitty little pink pieces. How about we use one of those? Oh, perfect. Here's a teeny weeny little one. Okay, I need my glue pages. Did it went through a lot of glue pages and I just put them in half and then those will be collaged for uh journal cards or pockets. Maybe we'll do one of those too. Cuz I do still get questions and it's just because there's people new to the new to the whole journal making world and and they just are like so you do those collages and what do you do with them <laughs> which is understandable okay so there's that okay so these collages are going to be journal cards and tags so um i think this one I think this one will make into journal cards. So, oh, I forgot to say that um, these rolls are 12 inches. So I just cut them 12 by 12 because then that's really super easy to cut into your pieces. Um, so I like my journal cards six by four. So um, I'm gonna make this six this way. I'll show you here. Okay, so let's cut this at six. Right here. Then we can do four, four and four. So we'll do four here. Oops. Maybe if I can hold things straight. Four. So isn't that a nice size journal card? See, and you'll be able to journal on the back. We can snip the corners, round the corners, whatever you want. And now we have a base that we can put a bird on or whatever else we want to put on there. A picture, this, this particular one, maybe a picture of Shirley Temple. But we've got our journal card bases done and see how they're, they're thin. So that is going to be perfect for the pages of my Shirley Temple journal. Okay, so four and four. Right? Journal card bases. Yes. Okay, so this one, let's do this one into tags, how about? So, again, I think, um, I think I'm going to turn this, I'm going to go six this way. And then this time, as we go here, we're going to go threes. And, and so it really works out great for a 12 by 12 because we will get four tags out of each side here. That one only needs to be snipped and maybe a word down there or something. Not much needs to be done on that one. And, and then the last one. So we get four tags from each one. Let's do this one. Oh, nope, not four. Three. I'm doing tags. You're doing tags, Gail. <laughs> there we go. Three. 
And it's always so fun to see how once you cut them up, how much, you know, what they turn out to be. It's just, it's just fun. Like that one's really fun. And of course that one, yeah, just, it's just fun to see how they reveal themselves. So we have eight fall tags now. Isn't that fun? Now this one, this is a uh, five and three quarters by nine, this book page. So um, I think I need some belly bands for my fall journals. So I think I said, I said it was nine, right? Yeah. So I think I'm going to do these at no five and three quarters that's the measurement I want so two and a half two and three quarters it's going to be about halfway right there and I think I'm just going to make two belly bands out of that now they'll have to be cut a little bit you know cut off a little bit to make them eight and a half like the pages will be but no biggie there. Just just take off a little bit, and that will be fun for a cluster. So let's do this one. Just get them all ready to go. Okay, cool. So, and those are good and sturdy because those are on book page. So those will be great belly bands. So we have belly bands, we have tags, and we have journal cards. Fun, huh? Okay. So now we are going to do a little more. I want to do a um, a sheet of tags for the altered book. Just kind of working on two separate projects at once here. So see, I just cut this 12 by 12. And then... Um, let me move these for the moment. I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave one so I remember to do that. Okay. So. So. I want fairly. Um, we're going to do tags. So it's going to be six here. And then cut, cut, cut. So this would be good. This would be good for a bottom, wouldn't it? Okay. Glue stick. And this is just my rhythm. It's not an art rule or anything like that. It's, I, I like to do the corners and then I kind of pop one in the middle and then I kind of go around that. That's just makes sense to my brain. Definitely not something you have to do. Okay. And let's find something. Let's see, maybe I should. I'm just going to stack. I'm going to put this over here and this here so you can kind of see me picking out. Um, and see how it's curling? But once, once it dried and everything, it didn't curl. So I appreciated that too. Uh, let's see, what do we have that we could do? I don't really want any. Ooh, here's a good one. Let's do this one in a corner. that. What's this? This is cool. Let's do this down there. I really try not to think too much on these. I, I honestly find that they turn out best if you're just, oh shoot, I should have had a new, should have had a new glue page. 
but maybe I can finish this off. <laughs> okay, then we'll get a new one. Oh, goodness. Um, yeah, anyway, they turn out better if I just am randomly picking things. I want the I want the color group to be, you know, kind of within my within my scheme for this particular journal. Um this one would work. So as I'm sifting through, I'm not really looking for anything but color to go with this one. Okay. What if we took like this butterfly one and pop that in the middle? Maybe I'll put it to the side a little bit just for fun. Okay, and then, I don't know, we might have to, we might have to make some scraps and use some of the um, papers that I've pulled out for the altered book to cover pages and stuff like that. I'm just going to kind of try and put it straight, Gail, ish. There we go. Okay, so let's see. What do I have? Um, I need I need another table <laughs> beside me is what I need. Let's just flip these out. Okay, so I have my I have my fun little um, patchwork digital that I just did. So we could use some of that, but I thought I had a few, um, thought I had a few sort of half pages going on. Maybe not. I'm using a lot of Roxy Creations digitals in this particular. Oh, yep, there they are. In this, uh altered book. Got a couple, couple here. Let's see what those are. And could use that too. Okay. Those were the ones I was kind of thinking of. Then I stuck that down on my glue page. Cheesy peasy. Okay, <laughs> let's set that aside for the moment. Okay, jeez, get organized, Gail, get organized. Okay, I think I'm just going to do a little rip in here on these. That piece like that's always kind of... Actually, that would be nice on the back of something. So I'm going to set that over here. This also would be nice on a back. I'm not going to back this one because it's going in the altered book, but if we do anymore. I'm just ripping this up, following the pattern a little bit. Ready. That would be nice on the back. And I'm going to have some on this one too. Looks like. Which is good. You need those for the back on things too. Okay. Maybe we'll go here. And go here. Save that. These can be for the back of something. Okay, let's use those. All 
I am pretty much going in the same direction on these because remember this is going to be tagged so it'll be cut across here and then four across. Put that up here. Um, you are so pretty. I'll put it here or here. Well, maybe down there. For no particular reason. <laughs> I just happen to like it better down low. Okay. That's good, though. I wanted some pink flowers. Okay. This blue... That actually would fit across there just fine. And these are all pretty, um, what do I want to say? Not neutral exactly, but kind of light in color and stuff. So I think I might use some of my, um, we'll see, that would be good right there. But I want to put something there. Let's grab... My patchworks here because I want to give them a little oomph. So that one would be good. There was one. I love that one. I'm going to grab that out. little bit of it up here too. Okay. I think I want to tear that one. I like it there. I think I would. So, I'm going to tear a little strip this away, and it doesn't need to be that long. Okay. Put that there. And I just put that there. Trying to leave the pink flower right there. Okay, and then I think I'm going to put that down there but I want something there first so let's see and I was kind of thinking some of this maybe The other thing I did when I cleaned out my um, and organized my scraps was any little scraps that still had the white on, I just went through and tore them off. So they're ready to do, they're ready to go on collage and, you know, I don't have to worry about that. Oh, maybe this one would fit just right there. So... That was, it took me a while, but I was really happy when I got it done. I was like, yes, they're all organized. And of course, some of these little scraps will end up going with them in the, 
in the tray once we're done collaging here. Whoops, that wasn't good. Really have to hold, you really do. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put that here, okay. And then this is going to go right there. Okay, I need a little glue right there for some reason. I didn't, didn't take, I can't. But yet, I can't get under it. There we go. That's better. All right. What else? I'm thinking that would go there really nicely. But I think I'll do this bigger area first. So, maybe... We'd like a little more of this. Okay. I need a new glue page. I'm just kind of tossing these to the side to They'll get to be collaged on at some point. Put that there. Alrighty then. I really like this too. It's going to go right here. And while I'm here, I'll just trim this down so it's ready to go at some point. Who knows? It might fit into this or not. We don't know. I will say I do love to collage. I had a real fun afternoon just collaging. And then I was like, you know, my scraps are an awful mess <laughs> so then I got busy on that but it was fun okay I mean I could do that or I could do that I think I like this better okay that can go there maybe what happens when you put your glue on the edge living on the edge okay um let's see what else do we have here it's already torn up kind of like that All right. And I think I'll put this, this here. And scoot it over so I have a little more of that, this little pink flower showing. Okay, and then I've got just a little space right here. <laughs> That's fine. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Okay, and so then this can be, I'm going to put it up. 
Okay, then this little thing. Oh, I need a little something right there. Put that there. Those two pieces just met, not quite. <laughs> so we'll just put that over there. Okay, so we're all set with that. Let's now, let's let that dry for a sec. Yeah, we'll let it dry for a sec and we'll, let's make some um, fall pockets. Okay, so I can get rid of these. Let me just grab what I have for to work with for fall. And that's this pile. Okay. All right. So. Just set that down. Okay. All right. So, um. I'm just going to let that dry and then we'll see how it's already got the backing. We can write right on it. It's all good to go. So I'll let that dry before we cut it. And let's let's just make some pockets. So this particular book is like five and a quarter. I am going to tear that down to be about four and three quarters. That's a good width for a book or for a pocket, I mean. Okay. So my, my tummy's growling. Excuse me. I meant to eat a yogurt before I started filming, but then I got too excited and had to, had to get going. Okay. Let's see what we have here for us to work with. Well, I have this fun little thing. That could be really fun and almost, it's just a little, something about a squirrel. It's from an old book, but I'm kind of thinking it almost like wouldn't have to, I mean, this could kind of be the focal point of this little, of this little pocket. Oh, look, more stuff to stamp on. Okay. It looks like it's not quite straight at the bottom either. There we go. Okay, I think I want that there. So I just need to kind of go around it. I also think I would like it to be... Look, I got my new bed. Let's see how it does. Oh, yeah. Oh, it just makes such a difference. So nice things like this. I'm going to use this pad on. My old pad is going to be for crumbs, like um, what we've been doing with the Tim Holtz. For So things that are crummy and not clean will be the other pad. Okay, let's do some strips. Well, that's nearly perfect, but not quite. That's okay. We're going to put that down. We'll get some other little piece in there. <clears throat> some of these are bits that were... Um, I'm going to actually go this way and fold it over a little bit. These were bits from a cover page on a digital. And so that's what that is. And then we can we can do a little something down there. I don't know. I don't know what yet. Let's see. Any other strip sort of things. There's that, but that's good for the middle of something. And everything gives thanks. I could put that at the bottom and go this way because then it would show. Okay. Sorry, I'm gluing off camera but it just the desk gets full I think you'd rather see what scraps I'm picking than watch me glue I'm guessing <laughs> that would be my guess let's see this is a nice strip it's 
not wide enough though but it's good right there okay so let's do this let's I'm gonna put that down there I'm not gonna fold it over the top but that's okay Okay, and then I can put this down here to help that little space get full. And then I'm going to run something else kind of along, kind of along here. there like that and then this is going to go down here at the bottom okay I'll fold another one to be another pocket. Ooh, there's a bunny on the other side. <laughs> Look, bunny rabbit story. But I like I like a little squirrel for fall. Okay. So, that is all ready. We can We'll see if this works. Sometimes when your glue's wet, it doesn't work so well, but ah, worked. Okay, then I'm gonna take, now I could, I could sew around this. I don't really think this one needs it. Cause it's kind of got a lot going on around the edges and I don't want to sew through that. So that one's just done. So that's awesome. Okay. We're going to continue on with those, but I'm thinking I can probably cut this now and I want you to be able to see what we did there. So grab the cutter. And we're going to go six this way because we're making tags this time, remember? So just that way. And then three, 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 and three. Isn't that a fun one? It's so fun. Okay, and three here. Love this one, too. Love the the um, pastels kind of this one's rather plain needs some focal points but how fun is that one okay you can see this in this using this you can make a pile of ephemera in a pretty quick hurry um, the other thing that I should mention, so there's all the tags. The other thing I should mention is these, um, you know, the, the journal cards. You could do those as pockets, too. I would just, these are six inches wide, so i just make them a little smaller. You'd have a little waist, but that's okay. So those are all ready to go. And then I've got tags and belly bands for the fall. Woohoo! Look at this go. Okay, so let's get back to pockets. I um, I do know I need quite a few pockets for my for my um little journals for. Oh, I need to cut that. Um, actually not cut it but kind of just tear it 
Okay, and I always do the folded edge at the top. I don't think I mentioned that. I'm really happy with this one. I think that's so cute. Love you, little squirrel. You're so cute. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I was thinking that this is real close to just being the exact right size. So I think I'm going to do something on the other side first. Oh, that's a good focal point, isn't it? Ha! Okay. We're just going to do these. These are all just kind of scraps of fallish that I had going. I think this one is from New Shop uh, to me. Um, 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 um. Cotton and Twig TX is the name of it. And um, I kind of went crazy in her shop over the weekend and bought a whole bunch of digitals from her. Um, I didn't know about her before, so that was a fun find. I'll try and remember to link her below this video. Just, just if you go over to her shop and get anything, tell her Gail sent you. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know that she is a subscriber or anything, so she may not ever know where all these wonderful people came from to buy things at her shop. <laughs> Let's see, that is a little, I think I'm going to just do this, because this is like barely, I'm going to cut this off, because it's barely above the thing, but the edge, <laughs> the thing, I know. Okay, just going to pop that right there. Just to kind of give that a little extra something. Um, and this could use something right here, I feel like. I'm not sure what. Maybe I'll put that there. And I don't know, this one might, this one might need a little something more. I don't know. So cool. Can't even tell you how much I love having a new pad. Even when they're real ink, they're not the same, but I mean, the re-ink, I probably re-inked that, the one that I am going to use for crumbs. I probably used, re-inked that six or eight times. And then kind of the pad just doesn't absorb it. I don't know. So there's another one. Might need a little something. I don't know. I am also going to, since I'm not going to sew these, normally I sew them. I'm going to glue that down so that's good. And that one's down. Okay. This one. Because really what I do is I just stick the, the, the part I've been gluing on. I stick that together. Just fold it towards each other. Okay, there's another pocket. How are we doing? We're doing good. We we have time for a couple more. That is awesome. What did I do with it? Over here. Okay. Let's tear this one down to be... To be about four and three quarters-ish. Okay. 
Oh, those can be stamped on. Alrighty. Let's do this. I'm thinking let's use this as kind of a focal point. So maybe we'll kind of just go around the edges a bit. What would we do, honestly, without book pages, though? I mean, so many uses for them. Okay, I am going to just pop that on and fold that over. Okay. There. Okay. What else? Oh, here's a strip. And something over there. Not sure what. Yeah. I need a new glue, a new glue page. I was so excited to get up this morning because I have a whole day with nowhere to go. And so I'm just going to get a bunch of videos done because we have got volleyball season upon us. And this grandma is going to be very busy. <laughs> just Mike and I had to put the two schedules of the girls so we have our bozeman granddaughters the two of them and then we have our missoula granddaughter so we had to put the schedules next to each other and we our criteria was kind of closest to home and then if there was a conflict um we'll go with Addie because she is you know a junior she's getting ready to be to be done with it so yeah um we sat down with the highlighter to <laughs> printed out the schedules and highlighted where we're going and it's like ridiculous it's every single week and weekend of course but um but yeah oh that's that's a fun one isn't it I like that one. Yeah, so anyway, this kid's going to be busy. So as far ahead as I can get on videos, I'm going to and try and maintain it. And when I also have stuff coming up for the YWCA. So she's getting busy on me. There's that one. Love that. Okay. Do we have time for one more? I think we might. And have at the moment for autumn journals. I may have more, who knows, by the time I don't like that. Just go here. So yeah, just I'm so happy though that life has opened back up and everything and we get to and that's the other thing any that we're missing because like we'll miss some volleyball games when we're in denver to watch our grandson play football um any that we miss we can watch on the nfhs channel which was one of the best things to come from the you know what grandparents all over the country can now watch what they didn't didn't used to get to see. It's 
So that's really, it's really awesome. And like, I'm going to miss a couple game or one game, I think, um, when I'm at my friend Diane's retreat. So, you know, so there's that. So, so yeah, it's really nice to have that option. I'll just go here. You. And then um, when I get ready to put these into a journal, I can always grab something perhaps from the ephemera from the kit to embellish a little bit. Okay. So we got that done. I think this one I'm gonna sew around it needs I think it needs it where the others are probably good as they are okay so let's review what we got done so we got four autumn pockets done those are, those are pretty fun. Hold them up so you can see a little bit better. And these two. I think I might sew around these two. Okay, so we got those done. Then we got eight tags for... <laughs> geez, I can't pick them all up at once. Eight tags done for my altered book. Not done, but you know what I mean. Base is cut. And six journal cards for that same journal. And then we got, see we have tags to go in the pockets. <laughs> we got eight tags done for the autumn journals. And we got two belly bands ready. So lots of stuff to, um, to put at the ready for those projects. And once again, this um, this paper that I kind of featured in this one as a base is available at your hardware stores. It's painter's masking tape, or painter's masking paper. And I'm sure they probably have it on Amazon too. So um, hope that was helpful. Hope you have a great Saturday and a grateful day, and we will just see you in the next video. Bye!